Another delicious Tesla rumor, this time about the Tesla Model 3, and it's a big one. Actually, I would say it's more than a rumor. I mean, it's not like I just heard a couple of baristas talking at my local uh, coffee shop. This actually comes from a pretty credible source. Um, by the way, if you do enjoy electric car news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you already have, don't forget to click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so this rumor comes from this hacker who goes under uh, the username Green. This is his... Uh, uh, Twitter profile, by the way, let me just say, I love his Twitter profile. <laughs> First of all, no background whatsoever, like, listen, we're doing business here. But also, look, he follows zero people. I mean, he doesn't even follow Elon Musk. That's <laughs> that's pretty hardcore. And the description of his account says something that I would like to borrow a few times, probably in the next few days, months and years. Here's what it says. It says, I report what I see. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. Does not depend on me. Make them release more awesome stuff. Don't shoot the messenger. I feel like I want to reply this uh, to a lot of comments in, in the comment section of a lot of my videos because I report <laughs> what's happening. And a lot of times I'll get a lot of dislikes or unsubscribes because they don't like the news, but I, I don't make the news. If they want the news to be more positive, that's right. Make them. All right. Anyway, so so this guy, he basically, he, he's, he's posted before. He ends up uh, hacking into a Tesla code and seeing what's out there. And what's out there a lot of times is when Tesla preparing to release a feature i'm um, trying to either test it out and just kind of a preps preps the code just like you would do with your meals <laughs> you know preps the code for future releases and you know you can get in there and see what what it is they're offering he's been he's brought a few news before to us uh, that turned out to be true and again, this is obviously not officially comes from Tesla, but comes from Tesla code that does uh, does uh, look like, you know, there's a good possibility it's happening. Now, there are a couple of things, but the biggest one is the fact that Tesla Model 3 may get over 400 mile range in 2020 sometime next year. Now, it comes from that code basically uh, recognizing or having a place for Tesla Model 3 with a 100 kilowatt hour battery. Now, this is, first of all, this is this is a possibility, right? But a lot of you will say, well, Alex, you know, who needs a 400 mile range? I mean, when will it stop? Are we going to 600, 700, you know? Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the, all good questions, okay? All good questions, but I think there were plenty of people who would like uh, over 400 mile range. If you're one of them, put in the comment section the reason why you would like to have an, an electric car or a Tesla in particular with over 400 mile range. But if you ask me, uh, there are at least three main categories. Well, one main category is people who just wanna have the latest and greatest. So whatever the longest range is, they wanna have it. And most of those people uh, drive a Tesla, right? They don't drive a Bolt, <laughs> though, though Bolt does have some interesting features that Tesla doesn't have. Uh, on my recent drive of a 2020 Bolt uh, that I did, I discovered this pretty cool feature where you can actually switch your rear view mirror to an actual um, a camera. So that's pretty cool. Now, the funny thing about this is when I posted this on, on Instagram, one of the comments, I think it's one of the most awesome comments that I've seen, uh, uh, she said that uh, I had no idea that feature is on my Bolt. I just went out to the car to see if it is on mine and sure enough there it is i think it's pretty cool that people find out about features in their car from someone like me on youtube or instagram or whatever by the way if you want more tips like this or just in general behind the scenes stuff um, about the show go to instagram and follow me at e4 electric as a matter of fact i'm under that username pretty much in all social media. All right, so the second group of people, I think people who live in the, either San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley, or, or Los Angeles, um, and a, a lot of Tesla owners do, and they wanna get from San Francisco to Los Angeles, or Los Angeles to San Francisco in without charging. Now, right now, it's still pretty tough in the Model 3, even with the 320, 330 miles, the realistic range, you just won't be able to make it. But if you have over 400 miles in range, you definitely will make it one way without charging. And it is a big deal to a lot of people. It would be to me. Now, the third group of people, I think these are the biggest, like, and, and this might actually really push this whole electric car revolution forward. These are the people who live in apartment complexes and condos. And there are a lot of them, and a lot of them charge at superchargers because they don't have charge even in the biggest brand new really expensive multi-million apartment complexes in silicon valley that they're building 
there are no charging stations, definitely not dedicated charging stations that you need. So this is one of the ways to resolve that. Well, at least if you have over 100 mile range, you may only have to supercharge once a week rather than, you know, every other day. So I think that does matter to those people. Now, as I mentioned, there's another discovery that that Hacker Green made, and it's just as big, um, but this one also affects, I think, Model S. Before I tell you what it is, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byte, and check out their all-electric SUV called Ambyte. They're coming to Europe, they're coming to uh, to the US, and most importantly, uh, it's very easy to make the reservation, which I think you should, uh, because it costs you zero dollars uh, and takes about a minute of your time. Go to the description of this video, reserve your button today, you won't regret it because you paid nothing for it. All right, so let's let's get to the second part, which is the ludicrous mode. It looks like uh, Model 3 might also get a ludicrous mode. It, by the way, it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, the batteries, especially with Maxwell technology, will get lighter and smaller and more efficient. And, you know, a 100 kilowatt hour, kilowatt hour battery in a Model 3 is really not out of the question. And the ludicrous mode kind of makes sense, right? I mean... Tesla Model 3 is supposed to be the BMW 3 Series type of a car, right? And that makes that sense that the ludicrous mode would be on that car rather than the Model 3 for about Model S, for example. But all of this is kind of a brings up a good point here because once again, if, if that happens, will Tesla Model 3 will be once again squeezing out and you know making the Model S outdated it kind of already happened in the beginning of this year 2019 um you know then they had to be, do a few upgrades to the model s and model x which they did and now that's why we have the raven um and it's definitely big step forward but you know once again if the model 3 catches up you know that that once again would be would be out making a model 3 now i know elon said that they're that they're making the model s and model x for kind of sentimental reasons and it's really it's not part of the tesla's future i still I think that's one of the most weirdest things that Elon said this year, um, and uh, but 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 it I, it just doesn't seem like th there's much love for the Model S and Model X anymore. So if this happens, I think a Model Three once again will be more attractive car than a Model S, which I don't believe it is right now. So let me know in the comment section. Would do you need a 400 plus mile uh, Tesla? And would you buy a Model S and Model X if the Model 3 will come with a 100 kilowatt mile uh, battery, uh, our battery, and um, and a ludicrous mode as an option? There's another thing that he also mentioned that there's a possibility of the uh, all-wheel drive uh, standard plus um, edition of the Model 3. By the way, thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. That's one of the biggest perks that I have for Patreon. So you are the first ones to watch my videos. You can interact live with me and, of course, have great access. Thank you to you guys uh, for essentially making my life uh, um, awesome because this is what I do for a living. And you and my sponsors is what's putting bread on my table. If you want to join my Patreon community, go to patreon.com slash electric. That's also in the description of this video. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, boom, click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward all right guys looking forward to your comments other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged